Hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing you another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we managed to get Jeff with, well, Tyler back to our crew, so now we can open this door with the bad key machine that we got earlier. <coughs> and you know what sucks? I can't believe Rena or Paula is the lowest level out of my group, and I got her before Jeff. How the hell does that work? <laughs> Where's that bad? Yeah, right, use this and then open the door. What's that? It's open. Okay, so. <clears throat> now. We gotta do a whole bunch of shit in 3. Um, well, I was thinking of leveling her up a bit more, but I don't think it's really necessary because she can defeat the enemies here. She is powerful enough. So really there is no point in level leveling her up, but um, we need to get some stronger weapons for Jeff, definitely. So I don't know if they sell anything in the drugstore, but I know there is a guy around here um, who's secretly hiding behind a building somewhere. I forgot which building it was, but he gives Jeff weapons, or more powerful weapons. I think he's hanging around here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, the guy over here. Um, I don't know if he's there when Jeff isn't with you, but I'm pretty sure he is, but he doesn't give you anything. Well, he doesn't give you much, but anyway, let's talk to this guy. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. Okay. Yeah, toy air gun, and ball rockets, and bombs. Oh shit, we don't have enough money, that sucks. I'm going to have to go get some more money at the cash machine and then buy that because that is a lot powerful than the stun gun and the stun gun's pretty shit. Of course we want to make Jeff more powerful, damn it. But we also want to make her more powerful, but she's powerful enough as it is already, as far as I know. Let's see how much money we got in here. Welcome to the automatic teller machine, please set the transaction. Oh, oh, that's nice. Well, no worries there, hey. We'll get 300 out. Please take your cash. Yeah, that should be enough. Well, that is enough. 260 something, I think it was, or 290 something. Um, it was, oh, it's 215. That's way off. Who's going to log this around? Uh, shit, he can't carry anything. He's got two picnic sandwiches that he doesn't even need. Um, excellent. Uh, no, that's it for today, dude. We're not stopping by to buy any bottle rockets or anything, because I don't want to be spending all my money. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get... Well, you even have a cookie in there. You don't even, you don't even need a cookie, dude. There you go. Alright, we got the toy egg on which boosts... Wow! His offense is 50, Jesus Christ. I think that's even stronger than me. I'm not even... No, it's not. <clears throat> but she's weak as hell. But the thing that helps her is that she's got, um... Oh shit, zombie dogs. A zombie dog. Okay. Right, the best thing to use on these guys is freeze for her. And yeah, Jeff can't do anything apart from mainly uses, like, main attack, which is just... Shoot. Well, he's dead. Damn, that was easy. You got your bitch ass pole, motherfucker. Who is level now? 22. Offense went up by 1. Maximum HP 4. Maximum PP 2. Game. B. Okay. Uh, right, that's not a zombie dog. 
That's just a dog with big eyes. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, <laughs> Crap. Um, okay, this is probably the weirdest battle we've ever encountered. A face. Just a blank face. Well, we shall, we shall perform an exorcism and remove you from the tent. Damn, that did nothing. Apart from solidified you, which is kind of good. Um, we'll try fire, because tent is... Um, yeah. Well, that did a lot more damage. Oh, who... Oh, phew, I thought one of the people died. That would have been a shame. Oh, that's unfair. You can't do that. Oh, why did I do that? What the fuck? Again? You have more defense for it? That sucks. Yeah, the exorcism was performed. Your demonic soul has been released from the tent. And now the tent can live in peace and harmony. Rena's level is now uh, level 16. Wow, that was a good level. Jesus Christ. That was sweet. That was sweet. <coughs> oh. Hey, get away from that trash can, bitches. <clears throat> well, let's see here. There's a jar of fly honey inside. Well, what do you know we got? Damn, I got a runny nose. <coughs> God damn. Alright, we got the jar of fly honey. Um, now... I don't know where do we... Where do we go now? Um... I think we get a phone call or something, like a random phone call, and then, yeah, that's right. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around in the tent, inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get ri get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the match pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Lewis. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be use for use. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Click beep. Okay, so this guy should come around anytime soon and give us our zombie paper so we can get rid of all the zombies and cure. Damn. You're a quick runner, aren't you? While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Lewis, who is wandering around three. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you are Lewis and I'll give this to you. <laughs> oh, hello, Lewis. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Lewis, no matter what. <laughs> okay. What if I wasn't Lewis? What if I was some evil bad guy who was planning to destroy the world and everything that inhabited inside that planet kind of place? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we've got the zombie paper, so now what we do is go inside the stalkers. What the fuck? You're all running inside, why? Okay, you all... S this guy at the pizza joint told me about a new product called zombie paper. Maybe a good idea would be to try to get all the zombies into a single spot. Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. So you're going to use this tent as a trap? Hell yeah. We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. You can do whatever you want. 
just saved my life. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll save your life. I'm gonna place this paper on the floor now. Get the fuck out of here. Use. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand and get the fuck out of here. Okay, now what we gotta do is stay in a hotel, I think. And then all the zombies come outside and then eat the zombie paper. Or try to eat the zombie paper, I think. And then <laughs> and then they can't, and then they all get stuck in the tent. Meaning that we have cured an apocalypse. A lot quicker than Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. <laughs> that game, Call of Duty, is so crap. I know, I'm, I don't like it. I really don't. Oh damn you, we don't even have enough! Rah, rage! <coughs> okay, right. I'll just put 100 on. <coughs> Not 100 pounds, 100... Well, <laughs> funny that. In my country, in the UK, money is pounds. I mean, stupid. Welcome to Three Tons Sunset Hotel. And one night, yeah. Mm. Pounds or euros. Pounds. Well, everyone here says pounds. I mean, you guys probably think they're all euros, but no. We we have pounds or sterlings. I think they're called sterlings or sterlings. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Anyway, enough about currency. Oh man, we got the zombies. We cured. Have we cured Freed? Is Freed cured? Oh my god. I'm so awesome. I think I've cured Freed. Let's go see what's going on outside. Oh shit. Huh. I thought I did something. I thought I cured it. No. Well, okay guys. I'm going to end the episode here. This is in the end saying in... Well, no. In the next episode, we will be going on to find out where we need to go next. Yeah, because I have no idea where I'm gonna go next. I think it's where those two zombies are block were blocking the two stairs. Where the two zombies were blocking the stairs on the top of Freed. But anyway, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.